Hey guys, OG Albina here, bringing you guys our BBR Season 6 semi-finals match against John Jr. and his Portland Nightshirts. Yes, again, part two of two of the semi-finals gauntlet with John. We unfortunately 3-2-1 did lose. I guess I said unfortunately before you wouldn't say unfortunately won. Um, to John and WPF. So we want to make sure that we can come out on top here in BBR. What I would consider our home league at this point. Um, and I really want to win a finals there. I actually haven't been to BBR finals yet. So it would be a great feeling, you know, to head on there and things like that. But... Yeah, if you guys do enjoy today's Pokemon Draft League Wi-Fi battle, be sure to drop a like on the video as well as subscribe to the channel. If everybody who watches this today subs, we'll probably hit our end of the year goal of 3,000. That would be pretty awesome. Go ahead and check out our merch store as well. We did recently just drop some merch. We have a cool mug, got a cool sweatshirt for the winter time, and we got a cool sticker. It really helps me out. I think it would be really cool just to, you know, hear that people bought, you know, Carolina Roaring Moon merch. I think that would be pretty sick, but, uh... Yeah, with that being said, we can kind of jump into the team builder to show you what we're bringing and why we're bringing it to get that background knowledge and context going into the battle. If you do want to jump ahead to the battle itself, there's a timestamp on the screen and in the description below on when that starts. Alrighty, with that being said, let's jump into it. Our team, if you did forget, consists of Chan Pao, Terra Ground and Fairy and Amorous, Glamora, Corviknight, Slitherwing, Alola Mola, Mudsdale, Gudra, Rotomo and Hisu and Typhlosion, while our opponent's team is the bottom of the screen. It consists of Terra Water and Fairy Annihilate, Sloking Galar, Chiyu, Decidua Hisui, Zapdos, Grimmsnarl, Bronzong, Quagsire, Weavile, and Bramblegast. <clears throat> a little bit of context going into this game. Me and John played earlier in the season. Uh, we did pull out a pretty, you know, convincing win in that game. But the matchup was a lot different, and it was a lot more in our favor. He had, like, Sun, no Chiyu, um, and no Decidua. Things like that, which doesn't seem like that much of a difference from what he's rocking out with right now. But in reality, it makes this matchup a lot more difficult. Now, the first time we played, John really, really kind of oversold the the poorness of his matchup, I think. To be completely honest, I do think it was in our favor a little bit. But he made that to be a really, like, unwinnable matchup when it, it kind of was. I think he just tunneled on his build a little bit. Um, whereas now, I actually think the matchup is in John's favor. And um, we'll kind of talk about why. I really grinded this week uh, on this build. Big shouts to Kaz, who helped me a ton here. Um, I believe I got mocks from Shuckle. I got mocks from uh, Joey, Legit, uh, and a bunch of people in the front office as well. So, like, again, big thank you to everybody who helped me. I think Harris helped me in Shuckle server as well. Um, I, I got a ton of help this week, and I don't think I would have come up with the team I came up with without a lot of help and testing and things like that. So, um, thank you guys, for, you know, for all that. And, uh, first up, we have a really interesting headset here. We are Max Fizdef Southern with First Impression, Warning Sun, with a Wisp, and U-Turn. Why the hell are we Mental Herb Slitherwing? Well, in testing and in theory crafting and things like that, I realized I really, really struggle with Taunt Bulk Up Ape. Now, he could be Rest, not a bad set versus me, but I really do think that the option of Scarf is going to be much better overall. The um, or option of Scarf, option of Taunt is going to be much better overall because the things that are going to want to status him can potentially get them off twice. And once he rests, I can just kind of do it again, if that makes any sense. Um, so I don't want to, you know, I, I don't think he's going to want to have to play around, you know, not getting status after that first time. Whereas with Taunt, he can kind of avoid that altogether. It also avoids Roar from Mudsdale, which would kind of stuff and annihilate otherwise so i really do think that taunt is going to be his best set and this set will always get off a wisp on a taunt set provided we hit our will o wisp that's going to be the main goal other than that it's just kind of a u-turn bot it's really only here to come in on ape will o wisp and then u-turn for the rest of the game um it soft checks things like uh weavile we have first permission to hit that as well as a chiyu pretty hard other than that we just have u-turn and morning sun uh morning sun to kind of stay in and just whittle down the annihilate and then um u-turn is just to you know grab momentum i'm never clicking a stab move in this game anyways and offensively slitherwing is pretty bad here just because zapdos exists um outside of zapdos it's not terrible but i don't have great ways of removing it immediately or forcing him to sack it so i wanted to have this set right here uh we'll see if it ends up working out and we'll see if he's taunt but i'm pretty confident john's gonna be taunt if he's putting his best build forward he should be Next up, we have Choice Ban Chien Pao, our one saving grace in this matchup, in my opinion. Ice School Crash, Crunch, Sacred Sword, Night Shard, 80 HP, Max Attack, and 176 speed with a Jolly Nature. Uh, this Pokemon cooks. He, he physically can't do anything about it. He has no defensive counterplay to Ice School Crash, 
plus, plus crunch. We have Sacred Sword in case we need to Oko Chiyu and it's like not confirmed not to be Scarf. We have that move to do so. Um, and Ice Shard is just priority to pick off things that might be scary, um, like a potential like random agility Zapdos or a flame charged up uh, Chiyu that's really low or something like that. I figured Ice Shard was the most consistent priority into this team. I could have been Sucker, but not consistent at all. And uh, yeah. Oh, excuse me, sorry. It's late at night when I'm recording this, as it always is. Next up, we have an Amorous. We have a really cool set this week. We are Player of Terrible, Superpower, and Grass Dot. 88 HP, 196 attack, and 16 defense, and 208 speed with a Jolly Nature. Now, we are a Protective Pads boosting set. Protective Pads are going to protect us against any Rocky Helmets. And, <gasps> excuse me, into things like Quagsire and Bronzong. It's going to protect me from Static into the Zapdos. Um, and this thing is going to do a lot of work in this game, potentially. Plus one superpower and either Terra Blaster player if really cooks his team outside of the Quagsire. And even with a Jolly Nature, Quagsire just gets nuked by a Grass Knot. Like, absolutely nuked. It does like 98% min or something like that. It was 98 or 95% min to Fizz Death. And it is not coming Spideff. Spideff makes no sense. It loses to all the special attackers I have. Um, So if Quag comes, it's going to be Spideff or Fizz Death. And I really don't expect it to come at all in general. But... You know, I wanted the coverage for it, and I didn't really need a fourth move outside of the combination of Fighting Ground and um, Fairy. So, yeah, really solid Pokemon. It's one game's on its own when it wasn't like Scarf Chiu or random Scarf Annihilate from one mock, um, or if Weavile doesn't come. It can honestly just run away with this game. Next up, we have AV Gudra, kind of a necessity in this game, where Max Spadef, Ice Beam Earthquake, Sludge Bomb, and Flamethrower. Honestly, the combination of these coverage moves isn't well switched into on John's team. Um, this thing just... It's really stretched in this game, and this is why I think the matchup is so tough, because not only is this going to be my Chiyu check, but there's also my pivot into Gloking. It's also a pivot into Zapdos. Um, it also can switch in on things like Bronzong, potentially. It's it's really tough for this thing to stay healthy, because Aloe was not a bring in this matchup with the updated matchup, because now it doesn't check the one thing it was here to check, and I'm already struggling so hard with the Annihilate. I don't think I can fit Wish into my Gudra very viably, unfortunately, and I can't be rest. I need to be Spadef AV in order to have a semblance of a check to Chiyu, but even then, once hazards go up from either Bronzong or the Quagsire, or even the Bramble Gas, um, it doesn't check it long term. Uh, it's a Lava Plume away from getting very whittled very fast as well. It's a Ruination away from the same. Um, so this Pokemon has a lot of weight on its shoulders, and I'm really hoping it can at least slow down his team to where I can get in an Amorous and especially Chien Pao to click buttons and force KOs before he can get in his offense to force KOs against me, if that makes any sense. Then we have pretty similar to the last time where Scarf, Offensive, Rotom here, Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Trick, and Lee Storm. Very free Volts in this game. Honestly, Modest uh, Rotom does really well here. Outside of the Bramble Gas, he doesn't really resist the dual stabs. We can kind of just Volt Switch forever into this team. Lee Storm is to hit the Quagsire if he breaks it. <sighs> <sighs> and for an Oko on like a Terra Water bulky ass ape or something like that if Thunderbolt doesn't kill it from there. But most of the time, it's realistically going to be T-Bolt or most likely Volt Switch. But yeah, it's just here to be strong, fast, outspeed Terra Water Ape, which it really viably might be in this game. I, I do think that Water's a little bit better, but Fairy's also very viable, so it's not like that would be a terrible ring. Regardless, it hits, you know, it harder with Leaf Storm than it does with Thunderbolt, so... And lastly, we have Glamora here with Sludge Bomb, Earth Power, Spikes, and Toxic. We are Black Sludge with a Corrosion ability, 248 HP, 72 Defense, 112 Special Attack, 28 Spadef, and 48 Speed with a Modest Nature. This Pokemon is here to get up Spikes. I need Spikes plus Enam and Chien Pao in order to break through this team like I want, especially alongside like Volt Switches from Rotom, and even just Sludge Bombs and Earthquakes and Ice Moons and Flamethrowers from Gudra. It's going to be really important in whittling this thing, this team down is having one spike up. The Corrosion Toxic is because between G-King and Bronzong, he always has a good pivot into me, but Toxic is really going to whittle those things down. I'll always hit, and I'll always chip them down. If it's not going to be a rest, uh, ape, and, uh... <sighs> if you guys taunt this, I can always toxic it. And even if it is rest, I can, you know, force that rest initially, and then tox it after, so... I think this Pokemon's pretty solid in this game. Its main goal here is to get up the spikes, though. Pivot in on things like Zapdos and Grimmsnarl if needed, and, um, go from there. But, uh, yeah, again, big shouts to everybody who helped me with this team. Like I said, I don't think I would have come to this build that I would have and, you know, perform so consistently with it in Mox if it wasn't for them. So, big shouts to everybody I shouted out earlier. And, of course, big shout-outs right now to our current channel members. Um, I do want to give a shout-out to all of them, obviously, now, because I always forget after the, after the battle. In the Bagon tier, we have D-Double, Olivia-sama, Zeke, 
Goose, Matrix, Odds Are, Endless Gadgets, It's Danny Mac, and Aaron. In the Shellgun tier, we have Young Citrus and Thriller. Sorry, I was reading down. And then in the Salamence tier, we have Noah and Vic. Big shouts to you guys. I really appreciate it. If you want to become a member, go check the button down there. And if you want to check out some of the merch and support your boy, I'd appreciate it a ton as well. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, let's jump to the battle. Alrighty, guys, here we are. Semifinals. Connect with John. Let's see what we're rocking with. We do see no Quagsire, which is nice because it means free Volt Switches. We do see a Zapdos, which I didn't see in a lot of mocks. Um, I saw in some. I mostly saw like a weird like mixed Life Orb set. Um, or like mixed Brave Bird set, even. Zapdos. So that's something we have to keep out and keep an eye out for. Grimstar. Slow King. And then we have Bronzong. Okay. What are we going to lead off with in this game? I totally... Hmm. Part of me really wants to lead off with my Rotom because I feel like leading bad into something like a Grimmsnarl is a death sentence for me right now. Hmm. I am kind of like revealing the Scarf term one, but... It's not that big of a deal. I also like force him into a position where he's going to probably rock in my face. He's not going to gyro ball and I can go hard enam and put on some pretty immediate pressure. And that's really what I want to do here. So again, good luck at Thunder John. Oh, want to win this one though. want to win this one. Okay, so we lead Rotom. Let's see what it leads into. Zinger. That is the bronze on. I think I'm going to Volt here. I really don't expect a gyro ball. I expect rocks to go up. Uh, I'm gonna vault. Let's see, Volt in the Zong, that looks like it's very spadeth. Um, I'm gonna go hard him. I don't die to one either, but I really don't expect a guy over here. And this allows me to get my terror ground off. Yep. Okay, cool. I'm also not boots, so. I want to tear it immediately. He is going to be Lefty Zong. I am going to Terra and I'm going to Superpower. He looks like he's pretty spadef too, so he's going to do a chunk. Now he's going to do a chunk. Once I get the plus one. And entire ground, he's doing like 25% to me with Gyro. So that's good. It looks like that one at plus one is gonna potentially knock him out, which is really good. I really wish I was leftovers now, kind of, but it's okay. Um, I'm just gonna superpower again. I'm gonna bring him very low. Which is very good. Also kind of wishing I was Mortal Spin on my Glamour now, but it's okay. Because I'm like able to chip this thing down pretty immensely. Which is really good. So, we'll see. We'll see. Alright, Superpower, I'd love a KO here. Don't get it. Unfortunate. He's got a future sight. Interesting. Okay, I'm um, just gonna superpower again. So this thing should be basically dead. He was also leftovers, which I thought he'd potentially be Colber in this game, but we're up a plus three. Imagine the Endure Salic, but also Contrary. Um, <laughs> that'd be really cool. And I could do both of those things. That would actually be something I think I would have potentially considered. Also, no Weavile we saw, which is really good because the team I brought is very weak to Weavile. So, like, that's mwah, amazing. Um, if he's not Scarf Chiyu, he's kind of boned right now. Okay. 
If he's not Scarf Chiu, he's kind of boned right now. Yummy. He really waited to do that. I really want to attack. But is it worth doing so? Or is it worth going Gudra? Like, do I need this thing? Should I save it? It is still really strong here. I think I am. Gudra's here for this. I'm gonna go into Gudra. Damn, I'm gonna kick myself if not Scarf, because I think I might legitimately have like just won the game. Wait, stones are gonna stick in. Purples. That did nothing. Also do nothing. There we go. Um, I'm just gonna Ice Beam. I don't expect him to want to stay in here. I don't expect him to want to stay in here. Yeah, we're gonna Ice Beam on the uh, Zapdos coming in. Rinky Dinky. Give me a freeze. Why not? Why not, yeah? Freeze. Unfort. Um, I'm gonna save this. Go out into Glim. I'm going to Glim. Get up a spike. And I think go from there. There's no icicle crash switch in now. That's another thing to keep in mind. There's no high school crash switch in now. This also let me determine if he is going to be indeed like Boots Chi or not. Ice cream. That's fine. I'm going to spike. If he wants to try and get up another screen, um, after that, I can Toxic. I'm going to spike. I think I value that more right now. He's gonna parting shot, so he is like light screen parting shot. He's probably dual screens plus like spirit break. If I had to guess. Probably dual screens plus spirit break. So I'm gonna spike here. Now Part of me doesn't really want to go hard into Gudra because I am so low right now. Uh, part of me wants to click Earth Power, pop a Shuka, or find out what item this thing is. Into Slowking with a light screen up. Do about 12 uh, if he's AV. I mean, I don't really have a great switch into this, and I want to keep my Gujra around because he's like the only thing I could take a hit. I'm gonna Earth Power and try and pop a Shuka. He's not Shuka. That's like super AV. Die Shock. Okay. Again, these are all good things to know, though. You know what I mean? And part of me wants to make that aggressive pow play now. I'm gonna do it. Can't stop me. I'm gonna go hard, pal. Let's see. We lose. Is this a bad play? Let's go. Um, I think I have to crunch here. I know he's AV from that damage. I know he's AV from that damage. Like, max AV. <sighs> Which means his crunch should kill. Means his crunch should kill. So, let's see. Let's see. 
He does have to, like, give me something here. There's not really anything that switches in. Zapdos, don't you dare get the static. Max is deaf. Crunch drop. Good game. Hey, man, you got it. That's what you needed. Yeah, good game. Like, I objectively lose now. That's cool. He gets the first one. Oh, and then hit your hurricane, too. Why don't you? Fucking Christ. Oh, I'm gonna hit myself. You ready? <laughs> ready? I got our one. Oh, just kidding. Yeah, good game, John. You played out of your mind. Happy fucking birthday. Happy fucking birthday. I don't kill this thing. What do I do here? Like, I go Enam? I play rough? It's the only offensive piece I own left. <laughs> um, I guess I have to play rough, hope I kill. I mean, he's defense drop, I will kill. Ready to miss? I don't know, man. It's pretty tough. So we do hit. We knock it out. <sighs> I would have loved the momentum, you know what I mean? Like, I would have loved the momentum. Yummy comes out. Oh, Scarf G, you gets to kill something. Um, he is Scarf then. If he's taking spikes, he's Scarf. There's no other set here. Um, I think my only sack is this thing. Yeah. It's tough. I can never let Gujar take an attack. Yeah. Man, that's tough. Man, that's tough. You know the Pokemon that had no switch-ins? Don't have it anymore. I physically don't own it. Um, I think I'm gonna go Gujar, and I think I'm gonna Sludge Bomb on the Grimmsnarl. Like, I, I have to play, like, over-aggressively right now. He shouldn't ever go Gloking because I can just click fucking uh, Earthquake here. If anything, I always think the Rinky Dinky comes in, you know? Maybe Annihilate. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Um... It's a wrap, dude. Like, we just lose. You should just Ice Beam here. Like, there's... I don't know. Maybe I should have just Earthquaked. Maybe I'm overplaying because I'm tilted. I just didn't think that made sense. Just to say, man, it's fine. I get to attack. Or a Terra Blast. There's no Terra Blast switching anymore. I think I died on Ice Beam, so... I mean, that sucks, but... I'm sure there were instances in which I could have played this game better, too. Like, I'm not I'm not saying I'm playing without flaw right now. But... This has been tough. This has been tough. So he's gonna switch. Into what? Um, superpower kill. Uh, let's see, Grimmsnarl. I'd say he's Fizz Def. I mean, it does the same amount as that, and I don't think that does, so I'm just gonna play rough. I don't want to fuck around. Maybe parting shots and throws. No, okay. Um, that's fine. I mean, this kills to reflect. So we're in a bit of a tough spot right now, but... What can you do, yeah? 
Oh, and Bon Clay's gonna die here. <sighs> See, the tough thing is I think I have to go modem. Um, and he should just go Chiyu, but if he doesn't go Chiyu and I take the extra Rock's turn, it's also just like an automatic- Yeah, I just, like, there's no winning position from here. And what, do I trick this thing? Try and cripple it? I think so. I don't know. Like, it's a wrap. We lose. And again, Navy. We'll live. One. <laughs> so we're, like, stalling out screen turns. Poison? Oh, no poison. John's so unlucky. Um, I'm just gonna Thunderbolt. Give me a para. Powerful para? No. Now, let's see something. If I gave him a scarf, does he outspeed me now? Um, let's see. Smoking Galler. I gave him a scarf. He does not outspeed me now. So if I crit him with Earthquake... I mean, I can crit him with Earthquake. That's my only real play, I guess, you know? <laughs> um, we're gonna try and crit with Earthquake. Crit, show it to me. Um, yeah, but we lose. I don't know, guys, like, I just, I don't know if I played bad, you know? Like, maybe I got tilted, but I don't know if I played bad. That's such a game-changing turn. I felt like the game was taken out of my hands immediately. So, I think we're gonna lose here. Especially because we didn't even fucking kill with the earthquakes. So, like, now what? I go into my, uh, my, uh, my slithering act, like, first impression? Hope he misclicks eight times, you know? Like... I don't know, maybe he's mono fire blast and he misses eight fucking times, you know? There's no, there's no out. Good game, John. Um, but what can you do? I don't know. Maybe I'm ass, but right down to a 2-0. I would love to have my pal, but I, again, it's not like pal one, but having that offensive pressure seems really nice. I don't know. I mean, people tell me if I'm ass. Um, but yeah, he wins here. Unless he misclicks and I crit U-turn? Question mark? He was mono fire blast. Oh my god, there was an out. Uh, good game, John. I don't know. Our season's over. I'm frustrated. Um, I think that's allowed, though. I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it really fucking sucks to have your season lose like that. Like, <laughs> you, even, like, the confusion. Like, it wasn't even as game-changing, but, like, shit like that. I don't know, man. It sucks, but... What can you do? You're playing the main character. Um, geez, Sir John, definitely go check him out. I'm pulling for him in finals. I, I, I want him to win, for sure, so... Hopefully he'll win. I'll see you guys in the next one.